Hey there, welcome to Jam Labs. Today, we're making some bone conduction headphones. So typically, when you hear something, that's because the vibrations are traveling through the air and hitting your eardrum. But there's another way that vibrations can reach your ear, and that's through your bones. Okay, so for this build, it's really straightforward. All you need is an old pair of headphones that are still working, that's important, and then something like this, and this is called a piezo element, or piezo crystal, and in most holiday cards, where when you open it and it like plays music to you or something, typically what's in there is one of these. The important part though is you have this piezo element like this. I've got too much stuff in this lab. That is also my room. But whatever. We're gonna start by getting some exposed leads from our headphones. I'm just gonna cut it. Leave yourself a little bit of distance there just because you never know. Maybe you need some speakers. So what we're gonna do is basically just place this straight in the middle and just kind of pull it away. As you can see, this separated quite nicely. And what we're going for here is just um, two exposed wires, just like that. In order to solder these two wires to our piezo element, what we really need to do is we need to be able to get this enamel off, but normal wire strippers are not going to work for this because there's, it's just sort of a coating. It's not necessarily a plastic that can be removed. And for that, a great little shop secret is to just use a small lighter. And what you can do is just uh, heat it up. It'll catch on fire a little bit and then give you these little blackened tips. But if you wet your fingers after heating it up, you can kind of clean off the copper. Or you can clean off the enamel and be left with some nice exposed copper. Now, admittedly, this does kind of leave some black charcoal residue on the wires themselves, and uh, that can kind of make it difficult to solder with. But it's not really a problem, and it's still the best way I've found to get rid of those that stubborn enamel. All right, so it's on. Move this over here to heat up for just a minute. Uh, and while that's heating up, I'll I'll tell you a little bit about these piezo crystals, because it's really cool. I know that most piezo elements are made out of quartz, and quartz is just a very common rock, it's sand, it's just everything. But if you take a small voltage and apply it to either side of a quartz crystal, it will actually flex slightly, it'll bend, which is just really cool. Um, there's a link to the Wikipedia article in the description. You can just arbitrarily put an audio signal through this quartz crystal, and it'll actually vibrate according to that voltage, and actually just start broadcasting sound. It works both ways, which means you can use something small like this for a microphone. Quartz crystals are also used as uh, timing elements, a lot of timekeeping elements in small electronics like watches, cheap ones, um, will actually use quartz and quartz crystals to help them keep time, which is pretty cool, and very powerful stuff. So now, uh, the solder we're, we're hot, our soldering iron is hot. So what we're going to do is uh, solder this to the piezo element. Now this solder job is actually pretty tricky. It's one of the harder ones that you'll ever have to do, um, unless you start getting into microelectronics and stuff. But then, why would you be watching this? These these wires are kind of crummy. There's, there's, you know, crap on them after we burn it. There's all this charcoal, which means it's gonna be hard to solder to. And also, this piezo, um, because of the metals, they don't like to accept solder all that much, so it'll kind of beat up and roll off. It's really difficult to get a good solder on them. You actually want to just notch the uh, metal just slightly. Give it, just kind of rough it up. And I'm going to use the knife for this just because it's kind of easy. So I'm just going to kind of give it a couple of scrapes. Uh, by scraping it up, we're allowing, we're giving it slightly more surface area for the uh, solder to grab onto. It's just kind of a little bit of a trade secret there that will help you out. Now if you haven't yet learned how to solder, there's all kinds of really great tutorials online. Um, just look them up. My particular favorite is uh, one on the EEV blog, which uh, does, a, I think, a really good job of explaining a lot of electrical concepts. And also, you know, just, he's a bunch of fun. You should check him out. Okay. And there you go. Okay, so... I'm trying to beat the light here, because all I've got set up right now are some natural lights. We've got our bone conduction speaker here, set up on one end. What we're going to do is plug it into your music playing device. 
Um, set it to max volume just because you need to have enough value, uh, enough voltage to get over the impedance of this device. But what you can do is just bite it. And you can hear it. You know, it's granted it's a little bit fuzzy. Um, it's not the best audio quality. But you could totally use this to listen to something like podcasts or something like that. I wouldn't recommend music because the quality isn't the best. But if you wanted to hear people talk or something to that effect, it'd be perfect for applications like that. Now, it is a little bit quiet, and that's kind of a problem. So in a future video, I'll show you guys how to make a audio amplifier circuit that you can put in series with this uh, bone conduction speaker and make it so that you can turn it up to even higher volumes, higher than like your iPod would normally allow. Oh yeah, and uh, to get the audio for the sound that you're hearing now through the bone conduction speaker, um, all that I did is I took the bone conduction speaker and I just pressed it against the microphone of my camera. Today, if you were watching, we learned how to make bone conduction headphones out of basically no components at all. We also learned a little bit about the piezoelectric effect in quartz crystals, which is just an awesome project, right? Thanks for watching. Now get out there and make something awesome.